It is my pleasure to welcome Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo into the conversation here on Get Up. Tom, congratulations on a Big Ten tournament championship and on a terrific season. And there has been so much talk about your seeding and where you wound up, i.e. in the same bracket as Duke. I know that it is time for you to turn the page from that. So I will give you the last word on that on this program. What is your reaction to where your team was placed by the committee? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. Not that I care. I've been a seven seed, got to a Final Four, a one seed, and gotten beat in the first weekend. But, uh, you know, I just like to know the rules. You know, they made a big deal about the quad. We had the best quad. Just give us the rules and keep them the same every year. And I, I've said I, I, I think we need more basketball people. You know, football has done a good job with football people on the committee. Basketball, we've got ADs and commissioners, and I just don't think it's the same. But it is what it is. You know, by Friday uh, – There'll be three upsets, and uh, we might be one of them. Who knows? So you know how crazy the tournament gets, Greeny. But I, I thought we were one of the few teams that won both the conference championship and the tournament championship. But it is what it is, and uh, we're going to play the game wherever they want us to play. Absolutely. And so we will move on from that with you here. And let's talk about your team this season. You know what championship teams look like, what Final Four teams look like. Does your team have that look to you? Well, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you look at them, you don't, uh, you don't win, as, as Dickie V would say. You don't win the all-airport team. Uh, you know, it's not like we have tremendous size. And Cassius is a, is a funny kind of point guard, but, uh, you know, maybe not great athlete, great this, but an incredible basketball IQ and a, a knack to get where you want. And, uh, you know, we've, we've said around here the last two weeks, you know, everybody talks about chemistry and everybody talks about this and that. You know, this team seems connected. If one guy messes up, the other guy picks it up, you know. Now, if we can get Nick Ward back, uh, you know, that would be a big deal, too, because he's uh, he is a very good scorer down there, just that he was out almost four weeks. So we're trying to work that back in. Matt McQuaid's getting better. We had a kid, Kenny Goins, who, you know, has really improved his game. We're, you know, we lost Arns now for, for probably good, and uh, he was a 20-minute-a-game guy that we could use. But it's been, uh, I won't say next man up, but it's been uh, reinventing our team all year long. So why change in the tournament? What, what's the one thing your team has to do right? If you're going to go on a run here, win four games, five games, six games, what's the one thing your team has to do right to get that done? You know, believe it or not, I think it's turnovers. We've been up and down in the turnovers. I mean, we're shooting. Our efficiency has been great. We're shooting almost 50 percent. We we defend. We're in the top 10 in both those categories, and we rebound pretty well. I think it would be the turnovers that would be the big key. Uh, you can't turn the ball over. You know, I was talking to my buddy Mariucci, pro football. Uh, you know, one turnover in the playoffs can mean the difference between winning or losing. I think basketball has some similarities. And then just a thought on this, because while it feels like you've been at Michigan State literally forever, I had to look it up today to see if you were an assistant in 79, 40 years ago when you're 2 <laughs> You actually got there four years later. But, but what, what is the symmetry of this, the 40th anniversary of that Magic Johnson team beating Larry Bird in what I think really might have been the most significant game that we've seen in the NCAA tournament? Well, there is some irony to it, uh, Greeny. We just had that reunion. Urban was back with Gregory and all the guys uh, about a month ago. But that was my first year out of college and my first Final Four. My college coach took me to it in Salt Lake City. I kind of got adopted by Michigan State. And to see Bird and Magic go at it and then actually coach at the school where Magic is and have Magic in my office and him talking about all the things and talking to our team, it's been pretty good. You know, it was one of the greatest ever, and I think it will remain that way as far as TV goes. But, uh, you know, it'd be nice to, to follow up with that sometime here in the near future. Well, Coach, we always wish you the best of luck. Before I let you go, I have someone here, Jalen Rose, who I think, I think has something he needs to tell you. Go ahead, Jay. Coach, you know how fond I am of you. I want to wish you guys an amazing run in the tournament. If, if Coach Beeline wasn't coaching Michigan, you know you be the guy I would want in that position. With that being said, y'all beat us three times this year. I owe you dinner to restaurant of your choice with you and your family uh, yeah. anytime you're ready. Well, Jalen, I appreciate that. I really do. And uh, you were one of
one of my favorites, too. I just couldn't lasso you here, but uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. Michigan's got a really good team. They really do. We got lucky a few times, but who knows? Maybe we'll meet again. <laughs> Listen to the joy in your hands. <laughs> now I know the key. You just got to offer him dinner, and he's right. happy to do anything. <laughs> hey, Tom, thank you very much for doing this again. Best of luck this week as it gets right, going guys. for you guys on Thursday. Have a good week out there. You too. See you, Jake. <laughs> Bye-bye. Take care. Tom Izzo, head coach, Michigan State.